friends welcome to my channel once again in today's video we will learn how to install windows 11 windows x Lite. we will install the latest version of windows x Lite that is optimum 11 pro version 3 it is also a lightweight version of windows 11 and we will first download an iso image from their website and then we will be creating a bootable usb drive using that iso file and then we will install windows x Lite on a virtual machine using vmware i will give you guys a link in the description so this is their website and when you scroll to the bottom you will get the download link so just click the download link and it will open up a new window where you will have a download link and it will show you the size. So just click it and an ISO file will be downloaded. I already have it downloaded. So I won't be doing that. I'll just open the download folder. So that is the file which I have already downloaded. So right click on it, click on extract, click the fourth option. So it will extract it. It will create a new folder which will have the same name. Okay, our file has been extracted and we got the ISO file. It also has the Rufus utility which can be used uh, to make your uh, USB drive a bootable drive. It also has a notepad file which gives information about Windows X Lite. So you can just read it. So you get everything in this folder. But we will download the latest version of Rufus. And from this folder we will be just using Windows X Lite. That is the ISO file. So I'll just close this. So now we will just look for Rufus utility on internet. I will give you the link in the description. So just type Rufus in the Google search and it will take you to rufus.ie. If you click the link, I'm in the first link, you will get this website from where you can download the latest version that is 4.4. If you click it, it will download the Rufus utility. I already have that downloaded. So I will just uh, minimize the browser and I will go to my download folder because I already have Rufus utility in my download folder. So that is the Rufus utility. I will double click it to open it and click on yes on user account control. I'll just close the download folder. So as soon as you open the Rufus utility, if you have a blank USB drive connected to your computer it will automatically detect that so i already have a usb uh, drive connected now we need to select the iso file so make sure you have this option selected in boot selection that says disk or iso image and then click on select and now just go back to that folder and locate your iso file for windows x Lite. so just click that ISO file and open it. Now here where it says volume label, you can give it a name. I will leave it like that or I'll just make it Windows X Lite only. And instead of FAT32, we will select NTFS file system and then click on start. Now here you can check all these options. Just leave the last one blank and then click OK. Click OK again and it will start creating a bootable USB for Windows X Lite. So just wait till it completes. Okay, so our bootable USB drive for Windows X Lite is ready. We will click on close now. Now we will open our VMware workstation software and we'll create a virtual machine. So click on file and click on new virtual machine. 
click next click next again click next you can give it a name like windows x light and then click next i leave the hard drive size 60 gb and second option should be selected and click next now we will click on customize hardware i'll increase the ram to 4 gb and processor number of core per process per processors i will make two and just click close and click on finish so our bootable flash drive is already connected to the computer and i will just power on this virtual machine click yes now I will click on VM and we will click on removable device and we'll select our bootable drive that is Kingston and click on the option connect. Now it should boot from our flash drive. Okay, it is booting from our flash drive now. So after selecting your flash drive from remo removable devices, you will have to just wait for some time and you won't have to boot to BIOS to select your flash drive. Now you have the option to choose the version with Defender on or with Defender off. I will select the option with Defender off. So Windows Defender will not run on it. And click Next. Click Next again. And it is installing Windows. The installation has been completed and we have installed Windows X Lite. And now we will install the drivers. So click on VM and then click on install VMware tools. Just go to my computer and double click on DVD drive. That is VMware tool so we can initiate the installation. Click on next on setup wizard. Choose typical that will be by default selected and click next. Click install. And click on finish once it is done. It will ask you to restart the computer so click yes to restart. Okay, so we have Windows 11, I mean Windows X Lite installed on our computer. And this is how it looks like. So that's it in this video. Please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. You have a great day. Bye-bye.